Hello everyone! I got a new package for you today. Here it is. Straight from China, of course. <laughs> and can you guess what's inside? We'll open up, we'll find out soon enough. Let's open it from this side. Ah. Oh, look at this. Family pocket. <laughs> it looks like it's been wrapped in a life preserver or something. With an inner tube. Can I take this? Can I just throw it in the swimming pool or something? There we go. There's something. Oh, there. There's the AC adapter. So we got ourselves a family pocket. It's a pocket that the whole family can use. And there's a character from One Piece <laughs> on the front. Can't remember what's this guy's name. The one with the three swords. Guess where the fourth sword goes? Ah, whatever. So, I thought this was a Chinese bootleg, but I can't tell if this is. This, I think, is Chinese. But this looks like Japanese to me. Hmm. But anyway, it's another Famiclone, of course. A portable Famiclone. And there's some more stuff written here that I can't read. Choking Hazard, small penis, okay. And it it's interesting that this works either with batteries or a lithium battery, a cell phone, like a cell phone battery. So it can do both, I think. Although I see a sticker here, so maybe this unit only works with batteries or or doesn't come with the battery included. I mean, we'll see soon enough. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, this product is with patent. Where is patent? I don't. Uh, whatever. So I know what I, I know what you're thinking. Enough with this Famiclones already. <laughs> Do you leave off of Famiclones? I mean, I like them. Can't say I don't. It's a disease. It's a sickness. I need more Famiclo. Uh, anyway, I got this one because it looked like it, it had a really, really nice design, reminiscent of the original Famicom controller. I have, by the way, right here this to show you. I mean, this is, of course, not. An original Famicom controller but it's very similar to an original one and you can see the resemblance this one is a Buffalo controller for the PC I use it for <coughs> emulators <coughs> so anyway I do have an actual Famicom but I don't have it right here that I can show you right away so as I was saying Really, really nice design and honestly feels a lot more sturdier than usual portable Famiclones and seems kind of nice build quality compared to the other things I've handled in the past. It also has an L and R button. I don't know what these are for because no games, I mean the original Famiclone, the original Deb, the original Famicom didn't have LNR buttons, so I have no idea what these are gonna be for. If they're gonna be other turbo buttons, I don't know. The clicky ones, though, these as well, that's not really that great on a portable console or whatever. <laughs> Funny thing, look at this the reset button is 
indented in the shape of the Roman numeral one here at the top. <laughs> That's interesting. Please focus. Okay. So yeah. This console has an on and off switch here on the side, volume control, nothing on this side. Although I'm trying to understand, I mean, yeah, the back should open. There we go. Let's open the back and see. So, oh, we do have a battery included. So that's nice. And as you can see, it also takes three AAA batteries if you so prefer. And please, please stay there. Okay. And this thing is apparently there. We go. A game card with games inside. I don't know whether this is actually contains data or not. It does have the golden fingers. I guess you can see them. Maybe let me point the light. A little bit, a little better. Yeah, you can see them, kind of. And the light's gonna fall, of course. Technical difficulties. Stay, please stay. I knew I shouldn't have touched the light. Stay. What am I gonna have to do? I'm gonna prop you up with something. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this without demolishing the whole room. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Okay, here we are again. <laughs> Rule number one, don't touch the light. Anyway, so, as I was saying, there's a cartridge with probably something on it. I don't know. I don't know how this thing is held together. If by glue or sheer luck I'm gonna, trying to see if I can get it open I don't want to break it uh, yeah I think this is held up by just like a speck of glue on this side I just wanted to be able to see if this actually contains a board with a chip or some data on it but whatever I don't want to break it so Let's put it back in. So there's writing on here, what does it say? Press. Press downward of card front side. Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, that speaks a lot. I mean, you, you, they couldn't build it so that the card would face this side, huh? It has to go in like this? Ah, whatever. So. Notice the speaker is here on the back. Weird. So anyway, the build quality seems really nice. Now let's see if the battery included has some power in it. Oh, looks like it. So let me see, let's just try and let me remove the cover here on the screen so you can see it better. Is it? Oh, it's a plastic cover that goes all over the thing. Hmm. I don't know if I want to remove this. Let me see if I can just smooth out some of the bubbles on the screen. There you go. Yeah, we can do this. And you're gonna watch me <laughs> do this, of course. I'm not gonna pause the video because this is thrilling, isn't it? Class A entertainment, I mean. Ah, whatever, okay. So, let's see what's on this. Thing. 
Bionic Tank, F-22 Fighter, Doty Cat, Happy Anger, hmm. Superman, Raider Skin, Spain Airlord, Anti SARS, hmm, that's interesting. Little Hag, Little Hag, what are these titles? Alienis, Elite, the Alienis, Russia Tetris, Air Alert, Mushroom, Mushroom, Ben Thalward, these titles, oh my god. So let's see what we have, what these games are actually like. Start. Is there a way we can put this so that we don't have glare? Okay, you have to push forward to move. Wow. Great. Okay. <laughs> I got the gist of it. F-22. Which is a ship in space. And a naked... What? I'm sorry, what? Who's this guy? Pump fist. What? what? Okay. Yeah, there's no dialogue, so... Um, okay. No! Listen here. What was with that intro? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna play a game, continue, no, I've had enough, thank you. So, Doty Cat, or Bootleg Hantaro, um, isn't this Bubble Bubble? Yep, Bubble Bubble too. It's a hack of Bubble Bubble 2, huh. With a Hamtaro that has seizures while he walks. I mean, he gets deformed. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. The game itself is kinda nice if it wasn't for the horrible bootlegginess. Happy Anger? What the hell is Happy Anger? Hmm. Oh! It's Looney Tunes. <laughs> With weird characters. Yeah. I'm good. I'm great at video games. I forgot that, oh my god, it's so slippery. I don't remember Looney Tunes being so hard. I'm just fucking up royally. I'm getting mushrooms. I think, is the level the same or did they change the level? I don't really remember. But anyway, what is this character? Let me take a look at it. Some deformed thing. What is this thing? I can't really focus that well on this. Nope, doesn't want to focus. It doesn't want to know. Oh my. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> so, the selection of games is, of course, kind of shitty. Mushroom, oh yeah. What is this music? Oh god, Mario, what did they do to you? Uh, 
Hurts the sound hurts. Anyway, the screen looks kind of good. It's fine. It's all right. I mean, I've had another portable console by the same manufacturers, let's say, and uh, this seems a little bit better. Still, not that great. Colors are kind of weird, but uh, it's not bad. Buttons are fairly responsive. Oh fuck! I'm just playing really badly now because I'm holding the console in front of the camera. But anyway, let me just check this out. Maybe I mean it has a thing to connect it to the TV, so we could do that. What else do we have in here? A lanyard, that's useful. A thing to charge it via USB, oh, that's nice. Now oh, this thing has the... oh, cool. So you can plug this through here. Plug it in the wall. Or you can just plug it into your computer or your TV or whatever takes USB, so that's nice. That's really nice. I didn't check the instructions. Portable player, blah blah blah. Thanks for purchasing. Okay, I'm gonna read that later. And we have a nice pouch to put the console in. Well, that's cool. Very snug. Really nice. Huh, that's not bad. Well, I don't know if you can read this. Well, stugu. So yeah, let me just check one thing. I want to see if I remove this, if the console has some other games included inside or what. Yeah, family bucket. We can choose between Chinese and English. English, thank you. So, we have another selection of 500 games in here, apparently. And these are maybe a little bit better. I can already see Mario, Contra, Double Dragono, Adventure, Rekka Kickmaster, Bursili! Bursili! I don't know how to pronounce that. Hmm. Is Mario 3 actually Mario 3? Yes, it is. Well, that's much better than the excessive bootlegs, oh my god, Rio. This, okay, this feels really nice. It plays alright. So they didn't fuck up with much except for some of the graphics, apparently. Okay, so that's good. What else does it have? Ah, oops, I made, I did Chinese, <laughs> wait a sec. It has a different screen in Chinese, interesting. Eh, English. So we have the Contra with the, yeah, with the cheat codes included. And then... What do we have here? Double Dragon, Kickmaster, Ninja Gaiden 2, Contra Force, Golden Axe, uh, Road, Juraga, Action Hero, Werewolf. There's some. Oh, there's Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Well, that's great. Well, that's one of my favorite NES games, so that's definitely a good thing. The sound seems kind of nice as well. Oh, damn it. So 
So yeah, it feels really good. The buttons are nice. So yeah, you can basically oh fuck, you can basically do without the stupendous cartridge included because. The games that are already inside the console appear to be a lot better, honestly. At least there's a few worthy titles and they're not totally rad. I mean, they're not totally distorted or ruined or bootlegged, modified. The hell is Panda World? Ah, whatever. The City, The Adams Family, Power Blade 2, that's good. Robocop. Batman, Spider-Man, Ninja Gaiden 3, yeah, that's nice. That's my favorite in the series. So yeah. Now, let's just go check and see how this fares if I attach it to the TV. So, I'll be right back. BRB. So, here we are. Sorry if the image quality is not that great, but I bet it's better than before when I was holding the console in my hands and I was like... Aah! So anyway, got it hooked up to the TV now. And the video quality is pretty nice, I have to say. Let's just go over to... Control 7. I saw... Ninja Gaiden 3 before, where is it? Here it is, Ninja Gaiden 3. Let me see. Increase the volume a little bit. The audio quality is pretty good. Video as well is pretty clear. I want to try out Ninja Gaiden for a sec so I can tell immediately if the controller feels alright because Ninja Gaiden needs requires very good reflexes and those can't be good if the controller sucks hmm really really nice this feels really nice I have to say yep 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 not bad at all this the controls are spot on with what you get on an original system, honestly. I mean, the selection on this uh, console is not very well organized, but you can scour through and you can find there's a few really good titles on this thing. And I definitely recommend this. I gotta stop here now because otherwise I'm gonna complete the whole game. <laughs> this is not a let's play. So, let's pause here. So, in conclusion, this ain't bad at all. Really nice, as I said before, really nice build quality. It doesn't feel cheap. It has a nice battery already included so you can just charge it up by plugging it into anything. The controls feels really good. The B and A buttons are on the are where they're supposed to be, which is not something that can be said of most of these portable Chinese consoles. I mean it's way better, for example, than the data frog that I've already reviewed before which I believe it's from the same company, I think. It's better just because the buttons are in the proper place. And, they, and the buttons on this one feel a lot better than these. These are mushy and ugh, horrible. It's way better, for example, than this one. This one is more, much more portable because it's smaller, but this one has a better feel to it. This other one I have is better <laughs> than this, just because, I mean, you can plug your own cartridges inside. But if you 
if you're not too picky, I mean this cost very very little, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it wasn't more than 10, 20 bucks, so for what it is, not bad. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this, and uh, see you on the next video. Bye!